Hello everyone. Today we are going to introduce you to the process of slaughtering chips on our Dura Interface chip cards. We will use the professional tweezers with sharp taper pliers. And for the chips, we need to prepare financial EMV chips with contact points. For the card base, the back of the card base is installed with an induction coil and the front side is a small slot in which the chip is embedded and this small slot is equipped with an induction coil that can sense the contact points of the chips. This process is to heat press the chips into the chip strip so that the contact chip can be contact reading. The back and FC chip can also be read too, so as to realize the dual interface EMV card reading function. Now we show you the paste process. This part need to use a special material we call the conductive adhesive and then use the hot melt equipment to paste it. In addition, we need to use a hot welder, which we will show you below. We are now using glue. First, set the temperature to 170 degree. Now, let's do the pre-work. We need to use a very small tool to put the glue to the chip. The glue should only be small amount. Now, let's see it. We can look at this detail. There should be glue in the center of the chip groove. While there is no adhesive around it, let's observe the chip. The chip has a positive and negative orientation. The chip has an antenna exit side, and the antenna exit side needs to be placed facing up. Now we gently place the chip into the chip slot and press gently. Next, we will use a hot melt gun to melt the glue that we just applied so that the car base is slaughtered to the chip. In this process, the most critical thing is to control the time. Count from 1 to 40, about 40 seconds. Then you can see the slaughtering process. Then we slaughter the other side. Finally, we use tweezers to gently press the chip. Finally, we finish the process of welding dual interface MV chip.